This is my monthly update for July. Excuse me, I'll just go have a glass of wine. Oh, that's good. Um, just basically run through my bills, um, what I've managed to get in my acquisitions, and basically what's going on in, within the community. As you well know, I've been doing another tiger lately, which is the uh, Dragon Tiger mid production 6700 with Zimrit. This particular one, is, I'm really pleased with how she's going. I've got to the stage where basically I'm starting to build the turret up and I've got the barrel done as you can see here and I just love the surface texture of the Zimmerit and as you can see I've also done a little bit of battle damage on the fenders as well because these did get rather war weary um, so that's coming along really really well um, I'm not going to do a lot of the interior because as you well know I am going to button this little baby up um, it's going to be fully enclosed so really as regards the loaders and commander seats I'm not really going to bother I'll just use those for spares but yeah so far so good I'm really pleased with how that one's coming on um, the McLaren well got a little bit more progress done but it's still slow going is basically I've managed to paint the main monocoque of the actual car um, as you can see here as well as the side inlets there, air inlets uh, there is a little bit of bleed there unfortunately so I'm going to have to go over that again but masking that is going to be a lot of fun I can tell you um, I have actually omitted one paint which I'd forgotten about I've just basically ordered it and it should be in by the middle of the week so I'm still hoping to get this completed by the 24th but it's running a little close so Russell and Michael if you're watching I'll try my best but I can't promise you okay guys um, the AS90 well she's in the same state as you can see up in the far corner up there she's still in primer uh, much the same she was last month not much progress done on that at all because obviously I've had work commitments etc I'm trying to fit the Tiger build in as well it's not been easy so there you go. As regards acquisitions, well, I've got another airbrush, which is the HD 470. It's usually used for tattooing, but basically I could use that for basic clear coating and doing my base coats. And it's a good little backup, and it'll do me for now. Um, I've got my replacement needle in for the Rida WD-180. It's time it's a 0.3, as well as the little nozzle, which you can see here. Okay. So that might be my main issues, maybe the nozzles are a little bit blocked. I've also managed to get some more UMP airbrush cleaner and I cannot heartily recommend this stuff enough. It's marvellous stuff. It really does clean your airbrush thoroughly and it doesn't stink to high heaven on like some of those thinners. And I ordered in the cockpit green Tamiya Paint XF71 for my Hurricane, which I'm going to be starting next month. Although, when I saw the top of the canister, I thought, hey, it was more like duck egg green. But there again, we'll see. Okay. Uh, slight boo-boo. Um, in regard to the vignette for the Tiger, I ordered some static grass. Thinking I got enough. Yeah little bit small <laughs> it's like boo boo there guys so I'll over I saw some more it's actually provided by a company called famous gaming as you can see there um, got that off of eBay um, very good rate I have to say but I may well get it from another supplier as well so there you go as regards kits well as you well know um, I'm doing a vignette for the tiger so I managed to get myself a lot of nice couple of frames sorry about the noise um, that have come up I've got these two at a pound shop for a pound each so they're coming handy so there you go and one thing I omitted to do last month in regard to my quick act kit acquisitions was this little puppy oops hang on get it up the right way it's the sword Gannett AW Mark III. Now, as you all know, I've done an inbox review on this kit. For a limited run kit, it's not bad. Uh, we'll need a little few extras on it. Um, but as I say, it's an aircraft I've often wanted to get, particularly this mark of the Gannett, as it's the only one you can get an injection molded. 
If you want to get hold of one, then obviously contact Nikki at Veteranas Kits, and I can't promise you, but she'll try and source one. Um, other than that, I would look on eBay uh, because this is a limited edition kit. Okay, as I say, it's issued by Sword, and the kit number on it is SW72088. All right, guys. Um, also, as you well know, I'm taking part next month in the 75th anniversary Battle of Britain group build as hosted by Charles Scale Modelling and Ian UK Scale Modeler and I've already actually filmed my entry video and did an inbox review on it and this is the Hawker Hurricane Airfix Mark 1 Paul Breton's built this he heartily recommends it he loved the build on it although he's not a great fan of Airfix but as regards a new retool, they really up their game on this. I've looked at it and the detail in it is superb. It's very cheap. I got this one for about $16.99. And uh, they also do a Spitfire, which I'll be getting later on. Um, and they've also got an interesting thing in this. is that It's got a back tail part unit with an arrestor hook. So I've got a feeling they're going to bring out a Sea Hurricane. And if they do, I'm going to snap that one up as well. So that's going to be my entry into that group build, and I'm really looking forward to building it. Not only that, the Hurricanes Boy has been one of my favourite aircraft, because it's the underdog in the Battle of Britain, and there was far more numbers of these than there was the Spitfire. And it actually took a lot of battle damage and bore the brunt of the battle, so that's why I'm doing it. Okay. Um, another aircraft, if I go well on this one and get this one completed well before the finish date, which I think is the 31st of October, I might submit a second entry. So, Charles and Ian, I'm not, don't hold me on this, but I actually managed to get this one from Tim at Cheap Kits and Bits. It is the Tamiya Messerschmitt BF109 E3. So, I might, if I get time, enter that as a second entry. Um, if I don't then it'll be on a future group build I've had a look at it very nicely detailed um, might need a little bit of extras in it but um, it, I'm sure it's going to be a super little kit so there you go another one I got from Tim uh, again from Tamir is the Stug 3 Alf's G through version. Um, I was considering entering this one into Adam Man's Stug build, but to be honest with you, and if you're watching Adam, I've got so many builds going on at the moment, mate, I don't think I am going to have the time and energy to get this one done, so I do apologise first hand. Um, but I will do this possibly at some time in the future. So there you go. And last but not least, um, oh yes, it is another tiger. <laughs> this time the late version uh, by Tamir. This one dates back to 1989. I've had a look at it. It's quite nice. And the one added thing that really did please me is in the decal sheet, as an options, you can actually do this as Michael Vittman's Last Tiger 007. However, one of the guys on the Pricks of Plastic, Ebby, has actually informed me I'm going to have to get a conversion set. So, Ebby, if you can message me and let me know who does it, I'd be very, very grateful. So, cheers, Ebby. All right, bud. But, yeah, I'm really looking forward to building this. Maybe this year, later this year, maybe the early part of next year. I don't know. We'll see. So, that's me acquisitions for the month. Oh! One thing I was going to mention, and this is a film I really suggest you get hold of. It's a super film. It's about a well-known sniper. He, well, he tried to help a guy after he'd left the forces. And unfortunately, the guy turned his rifle on him and basically killed him. It is Chris Kyle. And the film is American Sniper. I sat and watched this the other night. It's one of the best war films I've seen in a long time. I heartily recommend that you go out and get it. If you can download it, do. It is a super film. And Bradley Cooper is acting at his best in it. So, get it. Alright. Now, I also wanted to mention the few group builds that are going on. 
Um, first off is Adam Mann's Stug group build. Um, that is any Sturmgeschütz um, or Stug from 1939 up to the last battles in Berlin in 1945. You can enter anyone, just contact Adam. He'll let you know what the, the, the competition rules are and whether it's um, relevant or not. So contact him. And also on the ISIM forum, there's another group bill which has just started, and there are some prizes for it. Uh, is the iSpy SIG, which is running from the 1st of July until the 30th of September. Um, if you want to contact, you want to find out more information, you can either contact Lee or Paul on the ISM forum, and they'll let you know. And obviously, uh, at the moment, I've also entered one which has just started, which is the Battle of Britain 75th Anniversary Group Build, as hosted by Charles at Scale Modelling and Ian at UK Scale Modeler. Any aircraft from that period, or anything to do with the Battle of Britain, you can enter it. Again, check the guys. Also on RTB models, uh, Lenny's building a Vulcan, an Airfix Vulcan, uh, which is more prevalent because obviously we know that the Vulcan is not going to be flying after this year. He's doing a superb build on it, although he's pulling his hair out in some regards, but Lenny, if you're watching, bud, don't worry, it's worth it. I know she's a bit of a filly queen, but you, it's a super kit. Once you've finished it, I've built it. And last but not least, I just wanted to mention uh, a fellow modelling buddy of mine and a very good friend is Mike Cohen. He did a superb build on the Battle of villers bocage which was the action I mentioned uh, via Michael Vittman when he actually took out six Cromwell tanks and other vehicles with one Tiger. It's one of the best videos, I, well, it's one of the best dioramas I've ever seen him build. So check him out on Cohen C. So if you're watching Mike, that is the best I've seen you do yet, bud. Keep it up, bud. Anyway, that's it for now, guys. So until then, good health, happy modelling, get kit crazy, and I'll speak to you soon. Cheers.